What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Locked In with Trey. And today, I have another special video. We are going to be doing Who Wore It Best Mono Dread Edition, meaning one dread. And not just like the other dread I showed y'all in the other video. I'll throw it up. That's the video of it. Homeboy, you know, he rocking his dread. It's wrapped around his leg. It looked like the lion tail from Wizard of Oz. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but it looked just like that. But yeah, we ain't talking about that. We're gonna scratch him. We talking about some dreadlocks you ain't never seen before. Here go a picture. Boom. You ain't seen these walking around that many times in your life. So, hey, stay tuned. We about to get into it. Who wore it best? Let's get it. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you are new to this channel, go on and hit that subscribe button because trust me, you will not be let down. Videos coming out every week every week hit that notification bell that way it comes directly to your doorstep directly to your channel it'll hit you up and be like hey locked in with Trey just dropped another video you don't want to miss it so go on and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and let's grow this community one lock at a time one subscriber at a time anyway let's get to the video all right now this first mono dread it looks I ain't gonna lie, it looked kind of terrible, man. I don't know if he meant to have his hair like this or not, but it looked kind of like you neglected it a little bit. It looked like you were really, to be honest, it looked like you homeless by the head right here. And I'm not cracking no jokes. This is this is kind of crazy looking, but uh, hey, you got some colors I see, you know what I mean? You got a little uh, different color at the end of the dread. Is that dye or is that I didn't try? I don't know, but uh, yeah, brother. If you are a brother, I don't know if you are a brother, but by looking at this picture, I'm just gonna assume that you a brother. So, you know, you a brother. And I don't know what you've been doing, bro. I don't know what you've been doing, but uh, we need to get this fixed. Whoever you are, let's take care of this problem. That, that's, that look like a problem. I don't think you meant to do that. But anyway, moving on. And here is the next mono dread. Now, this is a lady, I already know I can just tell by the build, the colors, and all this stuff. Even though I can't see the face, some just says lady about this, you know what I mean? But man, look at the dread though. That is big. Like, is that a style? I know the mono dread is a style, but like this way, it's crazy how thick, how wide it is. It's just like your hair all matted up. It honestly don't look like you meant to do it that way, but you just let your hair go and do whatever it does. You was like, man, I ain't finna brush it. I ain't finna comb it. You know what I mean? I'm finna just see what happens, you know, see what I can create and it be like that. But, uh, you know, yours look better than the other one. The first one we seen, you know what I'm saying? I, I think you got that one beat. You got bro beat. So, you know, wow, wow. This next one is most definitely a lady because I mean, you see the purse, you see, you know, just the bill and everything if it's not a lady i'm sorry but i'm just you know this is my judgment don't charge it to my heart if you know who this person is and it's not a lady i'm sorry but uh just judging based on bill and just seeing the little strap going around and it just look like grandma or auntie you know what i'm saying or the the lady that sells the candy and stuff like that look i'm gonna say this is a lady but uh wow look at the dreadlock Look at the dreadlock, man. It kind of looked like it got legs at the end. Kind of like a roach bill. And, and that's funny, but I'm not trying to be funny about this. I'm just stating facts. If you've ever seen a roach before, thank God I don't have them here at my house. But I've grown up around people who have them. And this looked like a roach bill. Kind of like the man in black. You remember that big bug? It kind of looked like that build up. You know how it had the long torso, it had the legs and stuff like that. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move on to the next one. That's, that's crazy. The next mono dread is most definitely a lady. And if it's not, I'm tripping. I'm tripping, bro. I, and y'all tripping, and we all tripping. If this not a woman, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, look at the dread on this, man. This is kind of like a big braid almost. It almost looked like this dreadlock has muscles in it. I mean, look at it. It looks like it has muscles in it for real, especially at the end where it's kind of curled up like a bicep. You know what I'm saying? Like you flexing a little bit. That's what that looked like. You know what I mean? And it looked like a big blonde braid and it looked like it got veins in it, like hair veins in it. That's crazy. 
Uh, what y'all think in the comments? Let me know down in the comments so far whose mono dread is the best so far out of these pictures. And we not done. We not done. We got a few more to look at. And hey, let me know down in the comments because hey, this is some crazy stuff. I ain't seen no dreads like this walking around. And I'm kind of happy because I don't like feeling like I'm drawing too much attention to a person that's clearly just minding their own business. You see what I'm saying? Am I, am I saying that right? Let me know in the comments if I'm saying that right. But uh, I'm not trying to talk about nobody or, you know, have that direction to talk about somebody. So, you know, I'm happy I'm not seeing these type of people around because trust me, I would be looking. I'll be like. Oh my God. But anyway, moving on to the next picture. Man, I just thought about something. All these pictures are uh, facing the backside. I guess that's just to get a better look at the mono lock, but uh, it, it's kind of weird that didn't none of these pictures have like, you know, the frontal face picture that, so we can see, you know, what the person look like, who the person is. It's probably a good thing because some of y'all out there talking about people, and y'all probably try to go and find them and expose them. So it's a good thing they probably are turned around. But anyway, look at this one right here wow wow and sorry that the picture is kind of blurry that's just the one i seen and i was like man i gotta put this in the video because look at it it looked like she got a tail and this is a woman i can tell by the ankles i can tell by the ankles and the shoes she wearing and the way she kind of slanted over when she walking and this is a woman hands down i, I don't care what y'all say this is a woman but it looks like she got a tail bro and that is her lot it's all crazy up top and it really looked like she got a tail it don't even look like a lot it looked like the stuff up top is her hair and she got a tail going out but that is a lot bro that's a lot she just got some of her loose hair hanging over her jacket or whatever she wearing you know what i'm saying and that is crazy crazy however you manage to pull this look off wow that is brave i salute you and man it's kind of it's kind of crazy looking it is kind of crazy looking comment down below and let me know i'm not crazy don't this look like she got a tail right now like for real tell me if she got a tail because she got a tail like period she got a tail that that ain't no lock that's a tail bro for real for real but anyway Moving okay, on. this mono lock right here, you can tell that this probably is a person that wanted their hair to look like this because, you know, they're kind of well kept together. They're not really, you know, that slouchy looking or anything like that. So, so far, I'm going to say that this person wore the best out of all the pictures we've already seen. This person is probably somebody who's more well kept. Maybe I'm like I'm speculating this is all speculation because I see like the little red blazer got the luggage They had an airport and you know what I'm saying it don't look so crazy You know, it's still crazy, but it don't look as crazy as the others But hey, that's just my opinion and it's not like I see this hairstyle every day in this dreadlock world I'm like a kid in a candy store because I'm new to this. Like I said, I'm 11 months in now and seeing all these dread styles that I didn't even know that was out there. This is crazy, man. I'm really excited to see this stuff and curious, but not curious enough to be like, man, I want to rock that. No, not new, mm -hmm. I don't want to rock it. But, you know, just looking at it. Wow, man, that's that's crazy. But so far, this person right here and I can't say if you know, this is a man or a woman, so I can't, you know, salute and say sister or brother, but because, you know, the attire could be anybody, so I'm just gonna let that be. But, you know, hey, this is this is crazy. Comment down below if you think this is some cool content right here. Because, hey, me personally, I think it's cool, man. I ain't never seen no stuff like this. And to find these pictures and be able to show you guys, this is this is what's up, man. But anyway, moving on. The next mono dread on this list is this queen right here. Now you can tell that she meant to have her hair like this. She wanted to have the mono lock. You can tell the way she hugging it. Look at how she looking in the camera like, yeah, I did do. Mm -hmm. I did do. She is without a doubt the best one on this video to rock this. Like I give the trophy to her so far. Now it could be taken away. We'll see how many more we have left. But so far, she wins, and I can say she because I'm looking at her, and I can see her face. She got on all the stuff that a woman would wear. She got the flowers in her head. She got the makeup on. She got the fingernails. Look at her fingernails. Whoa. 
But anyway, yes, man, I can tell that she is a full lady and you can tell that she has taken care of her hair and she loves her hair. It probably smells great, you know what I mean? It don't look like it's too dingy. It looked like she at least takes care of it and that she probably even made her dreads, you know, do that by herself, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I ain't never had a mono dread. I don't know how it works, but I'm sure if you wanted some, you can get it done for yourself. And this one looks maintained and intentionally done. So, hey, I salute you, miss. Whoever you are, wherever you at, I salute you. Keep rocking you. You're beautiful. Thank you for your service. <laughs> okay, now the next mono dread we have on the list is this person right here. It looks as if this is maybe a female. I don't know, but we're not here to discuss female or male. I just know that it looks to me that it's a female. Y'all can make your own judgments. But back to the dread. Look at the dread, man. This one is probably the most maintained looking one, the most clean looking one. And I'm just saying it because it looks like this person is at work right now. I see the blue Walmart apron around this person's neck. So they're probably at work right now. I don't know which department in Walmart they work at. I don't know what Walmart they work at. That's not what this video is about. I don't really know this person. So, hey, we looking at the dread. But the dread is most definitely taken care of. And right now it's kind of tippy tat as far as dread goes. Like, I think the trophy may have to go to this person or the last one we looked at because obviously the last one was swagged out. We went on swag, you know, the last one is going to get the trophy in between these two. But if we looked on maintained, this one kind of takes the cake because it's more maintained and well kept together. It's not as long. I don't really know. It could be, it could be super long because... It looks like it's tied down, so this dread probably touching the floor. We don't know, but I guess just the way it's kept up and, you know, wrapped up and it looks like you could maybe do business attire with it or go to work with it or whatever with it. You know, obviously this person been growing it for a long time and got a Walmart job, so it's probably clean and this person kept it up long enough to get a job and make the interview and boom, boom, bow. Watch out now, it's the little one and I'm, all right, move, moving on. And the last mono dreadlock on this list is this bad boy right here. Not calling this person a boy or a girl because we can't see it, like clearly we can't. But look at this right here. At first, this had me stumped, like I was tripping because I thought the dread was a part of the chair. Look at it, man, it looked like it's all one and it like grow into legs that you put on the floor and, and this person is sitting on her dreadlock. And I was like, what? Because if you look around, look around the restaurant she in, the bar or whatever she in, you see all the chairs and tables around her. You don't see any other chair that looks like this one. Now, am I tripping or is these her dreads or she just got a different chair than all the rest of them in the thing? So, uh, let me know down in the comments because I'm tripping right now. This look like this is her hair she's sitting on and she doing some straight up magic tricks and she said hair, chair, and it went right there, bar, like crazy. But hey, let me know down in the comments, man. Anyway, well guys and girls, that is it for the video. Like I said, let me know who you think wore it the best. This is a crazy one right here. I have not done a video like this one per se. And a hey, let me know down in the comments who wore it the best mono dreadlock edition. But anyways, guys, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to Locked In with Trey. We dropping bangers every week, and you don't want to miss a thing. So go on and hit that notification bell. That way, all the videos come directly to your doorstep. And a hey, you already know what it is. It's your boy Trey Smith bringing you love, peace, and prosperity forevermore throughout your life. Don't you forget it, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.